you know, it's difficult to to see the eye of the storm when you are inside the storm, when you are living the storm. And now we are living the storm with the coronavirus outbreak in Italy and in Lombardy, uh, in particular. So now I, it's difficult for me to to tell you exactly what's going on with the virus and with the contagion. I can say that uh, me and my family and my friends are fine. We are uh, in a well healthy condition now. But uh, the problem is different. The problem moves in another direction because because uh, we are we are losing uh, the outside world. We are losing in some way to quote Mark Fisher. We are losing the future. It's difficult for me. I am a journalist, a literary performer, and a radio uh, host and author, and also a writer of non-fiction. And it's difficult also to write something about this uh, this period, this time uh, here. Uh, I am uh, here at home uh, now for 50 days. Uh, today is the 50th days of uh, of a lockdown, and. Uh, the world is fading away. I don't remember airports. I don't remember train station. I don't remember Venice. I used to be in Venice uh, four times a month before the, the the emergency, and now I cannot go to to Venice. And she's fading away in my remembering. She's fading away in my in my in my feeling. I say she instead of it. Also, if it is a, a city, because it was like a person, it was like a, a friend with whom I could have a constant and new every time a relation. So uh, I'm reading a lot of Don DeLillo and uh, I can read only Don DeLillo in this period in some way because uh, he has the capability to foresee what uh, was going on at the time of his books and I'm desperately looking for a forecast of what will happen here in Italy for us, for my work, for my family. But actually I don't know and uh, the strongest feeling I have in these days is uh, the sense of loss. I'm losing uh, many things. Yes, I have more time, but uh, I have to work, I have to prepare a radio live, I have to write for my job. So uh, it's difficult to read, it's difficult to write, uh, it's difficult to be in some way in this period, but I am conscious that it can also be an opportunity to, to change something that was wrong. Now, what was considered normal was the problem, many people told me, and they are right it's true but now i actually cannot uh, foresee what uh, will uh, substitute this normality that was wrong so uh, as a as a person who used writings and uh, and uh, literature as a manner of uh, of his life i i have no answer i know that the good novel have to to propose questions and not answer, but if you ask me for an answer, I don't have. And the question is, what will happen tomorrow? How we will change the day after tomorrow? Uh, in which way the planet uh, will uh, react to our virus before the virus? Uh, there are the questions on the, on the table, and uh, I hope that uh, I will try a way to, as a non-fiction writer, I will try a way to, to be a reporter of this time and to find any possible path uh, along uh, which uh, try to, to def define this idea of present.